Hello everyone, my name is Neil. Welcome to Money Makers, where I will give unsolicited advice, support to you, provide you with assistance, also put some respect on my name. Oh, sorry. If you don't understand, look at the other videos from uh, some of my videos. Okay, uh, I'll give y'all contractor tips, okay? Help job seekers make more money and get income in a flexible manner. Also, I'm here to make gig and economy fun, okay? So, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it today, we wanna to talk about mothers, okay? Um, when you are a mother and you have a newborn, a toddler, let's go toddlers, between two, four, five years old, uh, seven, eight, uh, sometimes it's hard to find a job that will work with your schedule. So, and then your child is 24 hours, regardless, regardless of where you're at, your child's 24 hours. So, you need income, you need money, and you need to make sure your kids are safe in a manner where you can easily get to your uh, child if there's an issue. So, the gig economy is for the mother, um, where you can actually be, you can actually be honestly flexible, and you can back up, I'm sorry, I just waved on my son. <laughs> but anyway, and so, when it comes down to it, so a mother can be flexible, could go to their child when they get an opportunity if something happens hopefully it don't uh also the money you still have income coming in and don't be so dependent on people so and that's what you need you want independence and freedom and opportunity for you to make as much income as you can with the time you have uh if you have a child in school not everybody that's back in school you could do lift uh also description down below uh the link for like, hey, if you don't, if you decide to drive Lyft, you can make up to eight hundred dollars. Depends on the area where you at, but that's link in description. So a mother, especially in the Chicago area. So go ahead. I would say you while your kids in school, you could drive while they in school and still make them money, and you don't have to go to a boss. Oh, my child left me. I mean, my child is at the. At school, I, nobody picked them up or her up. Uh, they bug, blah, 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 whatever. Because they got school buses. This is just for talking. So you go ahead and do Lyft or Uber ride share. You are able to make more money. You're able to make more money. And you're also able to go and have freedom and more time. Spend more time with your children. So I support the gig economy for mothers. Also, babysitters, when you're doing the gig economy, I suggest you still have them. You just don't have them as long and as much. Uh, with the gig economy, you can spend a whole day, well, 10, 11, 12 hours, depends on the area you in. In Chicago area, you only could go up to 10 hours of drive time. Uh, but that's another story. Once again, go to the real ones. Go to the real ones, links in description for a small monthly fee. You can go ahead and get more advice from me and I can answer all and any questions for the gig economy. Back to the action. So when it comes down to availability, you can work two, three hours, I mean two, three days, have your babysitter there. You still there at night. You still there at night. It depends how you want to work it. So that is my advice. Uh, your flexibility is still there. I still say get a babysitter, depending on your situation and age of the child, but you don't have to pay a babysitter weekly. Or you could use the babysitter maybe a day or two, maybe three. Uh, so be smart about it. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So the gig economy allows you to do things very efficiently. Uh, when it comes down to DoorDash and Uber Eats, I'm not for 
the kid, I'm sorry. I've seen kids, I've seen babies with, uh, you got the car seats in the car. I'm not for that reason. Now, if you have a husband and wife or, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, that's different. Or, you know, a mate, you know, uh, and a partner. Okay, that's understandable. One can be in the car. One could be in the car. One could go get the food. Um, and I've seen other people have other kids in there, so watching the baby. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm against certain things, but if you by yourself, I, I feel you shouldn't leave your kid. You shouldn't leave your kids by your. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't. But that's another story for another video. Because Neil, I have a story to tell. Have more videos to talk about and do because I'm the cable TV of YouTube. All right, I talk.